If your goal is to stay at the same level as a software engineer and never progress in your career, then this video is exactly for you. I'm gonna be going over seven steps that you need to do if you want to never progress in your career as a software engineer. And I'm gonna start with asking ChatGPT to give you solutions. Now, of course, the AI is great and it's new and it's exciting. It can help you actually to progress in your career, but if you only use it to give you solutions instead of giving you help and guidance and um, explanations, then definitely it's gonna help you stay at the same level as long as you use it. But see, I believe that the way we learn and the way we progress our skills our knowledge is by failing. And in order to fail, we need to try new things. The, the more times you try, the more you're gonna have experience with, the more you're gonna learn, the more you're gonna progress. So that takes us to the next point, be afraid of failure. Most of these will actually be applicable for just life, I guess, but strictly speaking for a software engineer career, being afraid of failure is also a great thing to do if you wanna stay at the same level in your career. Now what this actually means is, if you're afraid of failure, you're not gonna try new things, you're not gonna fail, you're not gonna learn. So basically you're just gonna stay at the same skills level. And this actually might even work better for you that because every everyone will be progressing. So you might even fall off if that's your goal. But if you are really afraid of failure and not try any new things, you, you might even go backwards. And the fear of failure can hold you back from so many things. It can hold you back from new opportunities because you're afraid you're gonna fail at them. It's gonna hold you back from trying something you don't know because you're afraid you're gonna fail. And that takes us to the third point. Be afraid of trying new things or do not experiment with new things. Like I already mentioned, trying out new things and failing is the way to learn. But if you wanna stay at the same level and you're afraid of trying new things, you don't try new things and experiment with new technologies, new frameworks, whatever it may be, just keep doing what you're doing and don't expand your knowledge. And you're definitely gonna achieve your goal of stay at the same career level as long as you do this. For example, when React came out, I was working with PHP, which was already established language. I think still is the most used programming language out there. But when React came around, everyone was hyped about it. And usually, I don't know why, but I don't go for the hype usually. I, I wait for the hype to die down and then kind of assess if it's still valuable and still used. So at the beginning I was, I didn't really want to experiment with React. I didn't really want to try new things. It was so different from what I was used to that it just, I didn't want to try it. And that meant I stayed as a PHP software engineer for a lot longer than I wanted to. Now the fourth point is kind of a moral stance that I think pro progressive learners and the people that have progressive careers do is don't fix the things you see are wrong. What this actually means is if you're working in a big code base, you're gonna have code from multiple people. And sometimes we all write bad code. It just happens. We, we didn't know better at the time, whatever it may be, we wrote some bad code or someone else wrote the bad code and we see it. And if you don't try to fix it or you don't try to make a plan to fix it or do anything about it, just leave it be. That's a great way of making sure you don't really progress in your career. Now, this is a smaller point than the rest of them. I think the rest of them have bigger impact. This doesn't have that big of an impact because not everyone knows you saw the code, you know? So there's still a chance that you might progress in your career, even if you do that. But if you really don't want to, you can follow all the other steps as well. Now, the last three steps that I have are more related about feedback and helping and um, working in the team and stuff like that. So, so one of the things I've seen in people that have progressed or that I've progressed in my career with is asking for help. Okay, the fifth point is do not ask for help ever. This goes kind of counterintuitive with the first point of asking ChatGPT for help. When I say asking for help doesn't mean can you please solve this for me. That's a good way to make sure you stay at the same level. But asking for help for someone to show you that actually might help you learn and you know progress so if you don't want to do that do not ask for help from anybody just try to fix everything yourself and keep at it until you figure out or, or don't figure it out just leave it be just give the task to someone else if you can do that you know and because knowledge is trans transferable if you don't ask for help they can give you their knowledge so you know the only way you can gain knowledge is by trying to fix it yourself or you can just ask ChatGPT for help. 
to solve it for you. And that's, that's a great way to stay at the same level in your career. Now the sixth point is do not accept any feedback that anyone gives you. If you work in a bigger team, you probably have pull requests, merge requests or whatever they, they call them in your team. But people can find a way to give you feedback. Even if you don't ask for it, people can still give you feedback. And if you don't accept that feedback, you just say that they are wrong and you're right. That's definitely going to keep you at the same level of your career. You're probably going to piss off a few people, which is great because no one's going to vouch for you when people decide whether you should progress as a mid-level or a senior engineer. So that way, you're not going to progress. You're just going to stay at the same level or you might get fired. But it's a gamble, actually. And in line with that, my last point is assume you already know everything. Now, like I've already mentioned, if you don't ask for help, you don't ask for feedback, there's no way for people to share some of their knowledge with you. And even if they find a way to do that, if you just assume you know everything, you're not going to accept the feedback, you're not going to accept the help, you're not going to open your mind to it. So just assume that you know everything, keep doing what you're doing and do not get any external feedback, any help from anyone, any knowledge or skills sharing from anyone else. And that will ensure having the same skill level throughout your career, thus ensuring you don't really progress in your career. And yeah, those are the seven points. Obviously, if you want to progress your career, just do all the opposite of this. All of these would apply for other stuff in your life that you want to learn and progress on. I hope this video helps you. And if it does, just let me know, like a few years down the line, if this video helped you to not get a promotion, put it down in the comments and let me know if you find it valuable. But that's been it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy coding. Bye.